You only have about 13 minutes from the warning to the arrival of a tornado. Keep that in mind as you watch this. In 2017, a woman living in Oklahoma heard the eerie tornado siren going off outside her car and she started filming. Instead of stopping at a nearby shelter, she decides to gun it home because she's only 10 minutes away. But by the time she was about to turn onto her street, the sky had turned totally black and she started to panic that she wasn't gonna get home in time. She finally makes it to her parking garage that's now totally pitch black and she starts running for her door. And as she's running, she's filming. Hey, if the gloomy weather's got you down, I just wanted to take a moment and remind you that on the other side of a rainy day, is a sunny day waiting for you. This is a great day, actually. This is gigantic. They're just falling from the sky. Full oh my God, Jesus Christ. Oh, do you see the speed? that they're falling oh, oh. <laughs> what the f the animal that doesn't wind up someone else is la 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 I'm just saying I'll oh yes mm. this is great it's a great day off No, dude! Sup, little beach? Man, life's a beach and you're here, dude! <laughs> so one day I could feel in the air that a storm was coming. And I was right. There was a tornado warning. So I waited for it while I ate some beans. And then it rolled in. While my dad just sat in a chair watching it. Oh, it started to pick up and blow even harder. And it was pretty neato looking. <laughs> and when I thought it was getting bad, I ran inside, grabbed my beans. Then I ran out the door and headed for the storm shelter. It was pouring down rain and I didn't know if my beans would make it, but we got there, I put it in, and then I ate them. And then I saw a spider. And that's my dog. <laughs> and then we got out because we were probably overreacting and I ate all my beans, so yeah. How the heck do we see where the maps are when we're on a sequence? Well, we have a clicker. You know that that's what we're clicking through, but I want to show you this. So these are our screens. This is what's called program. That's what's going on in the TV. This is preview of what we're seeing us do right now. And that's what's coming up next in our map sequence. It's just not up. So when I click to the side, you can see our map changes, which is really cool. So we control our story. If you come over here, we also have screens right here. Oh, I'm so big there right now. But you can see our preview as well as our clock. We're staring straight into that camera. And it's really important that we hit that last note when that camera and that timer hits zero. That's how we do it. I love Michigan because whenever there's a storm coming, nobody goes inside. Everyone's just on their porch waiting for it to happen. Don't rush, slow touch, brown on white. Like a go country, grab and buy. We can go bust, eye for eye. We can lose trust, quite wrong. Fizzy pop, where you they go, go, where they go up, catch my vibe. 
Let me go off, blam the trash, man it's so tough Alright yo, put the belly on the body, make a catch Seen her watch, now she wanna give crutch Boy got peas, now she hopping in the pod Man a real life, sugar gal and my forget what When she want dark, told her meet me at the talk Switching lens the other day, I seen her waiting for a bus Maybe this a month, clear sweater D- So I just want to point out to everyone that you might think that Alaska is a wasteland with horrible weather, but I live in Anchorage and this is the weather and it's 3.30 in the morning. So maybe it's time to get on the next flight here. No? This one goes out to that bipolar woman that I just can't stand. What's her name? Mother Nature. And I don't know what you've been going through lately, but all these impulsive decisions that you've been making, we not agreeing on, yo. Because three days ago here in North Carolina, it snowed. So I had to come outside with my Tims on, I got my heavy coat on, and like any logical person, I'm like, okay, you've set the tone. You let me know that I need to come outside with layers on so that I'm prepared for cold weather. So you know I layer up the next day. I put on my coat, I got on my Uggs, I got shorts under my jeans, and I walk outside and start sweating. It was almost 60 degrees and it just snowed yesterday. So you can see my frustration here when I'm trying to predict unpredictable weather. And to add insult to injury, I go outside today and it's raining. I walk outside every day in fear, yo, because I never know what's coming. Because the way you've been acting, I might get hit by a tsunami. So please, for the sake of my life, get it together. Thank you for your time. Now, cause I'm up now. And they do not want to see this girl shine and give a fuck now. So a lot of people were asking, when I'm on the green screen doing the weather, how do I see what I'm pointing at? And in case you don't know, this is called a chroma key wall, and this is where we give the forecast at. Back in the control room, uh, the technology actually takes everything that's green and replaces it with our weather map. So I'm actually pointing at nothing, but not really, because we have monitors galore so I can see what I'm pointing at when I'm facing any direction. Off to the right, I can see. Right below the camera, I can see. And over to the left, I can always see, no matter where I look, what I'm pointing at in the camera. Only in Alberta do you see this shit. You get hit with all three, four, five seasons at once. My God, where's my freaking mother?
fine, it's okay. Uh, 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 uh. It's okay.